Hey, Ben Kaiser here with jobsinthefuture.com. Thanks for joining us today. And you want to know the difference between Amazon Web Services, AWS, and Azure, uh, Microsoft Cloud uh, Web Services. And uh, for beginners, like what is the, the basic things you need to know? If you're going to pursue uh, learning about uh, cloud computing and databases, which, which one should you pick? Uh, what are the, the simple differences? Um, without getting too in-depth, just a simple crash course at the difference between the, most, the two most popular uh, cloud services. Um, so starting off with, uh, with the basics, uh, Amazon Web Services, uh, their focus is mainly on content delivery, storage, computing, networking, databases. So that's kind of like the breakdown of, of importance. Uh, then Azure is data management and databases, um, computing, networking, performance. So that's kind of the structure on what they focus on most. Uh, from there, uh, the great advantage, um, just talking about cloud computing, the great advantage to learning uh, cloud computing is the ability um, to deploy multiple versions of the same application to different users. And that's what's incredible about the cloud. So you can have one application that you've built as a, as a business or as an individual, and you can source that, deploy that to multiple companies. So they can run the same back end while also um, having different front ends, which is really cool. So you could have a company um, running a shopping cart ad uh, for instance, and it can look different on Amazon, on eBay, or on uh, Etsy, or whatever, just as an example. So your back end will be the same, but your front end can be customized, which makes it much easier on the uh, person deploying the application. So that's the huge advantage of understanding cloud apps. Um, now, apps in Azure. Uh, both Azure and AWS, Amazon Web Services, have great tools for developing and deploying apps. Um, however, Azure has made it easier for companies who want to migrate onto the cloud uh, from applications that they've uh, been able to service on their own hosting uh, databases and, and different things like that. So Azure is focused on helping companies make transitions from un not cloud to cloud. Uh, and that's, that's a big benefit to Azure, and, and I think the reason that Mike, uh, Microsoft has chosen to do that is because they have years of experience in the IT department helping these companies uh, brainstorm and problem solve on acquiring new technology. So that's where somewhere um, Azure has a greater handle on because Microsoft has been with a lot of these businesses for the past decade and uh, or, or more, and they've had the opportunity to help companies uh, update and adjust their systems. Whereas uh, Amazon uh, Web Services realizes this, they're not as keen on it. They haven't really done as much to really uh, provide that service, though they all are working on it. Um, some of the CEOs and uh, project managers of Amazon have said, okay, yeah, we're working on that, we're getting that, but Azure holds that as a little bit higher uh, pref uh, priority. Um, now, uh, an interesting thing is the market share of AWS versus Azure. So Amazon Web Services is the one who really started this cloud computing movement. And they hold 31% uh, of the global cloud computing market, whereas uh, it's only 11% for Azure. And there's really nothing in between, which is really curious. So the other 58% is made up of a conglomerate of other companies, other cloud computing companies. But the greatest market share is held by Azure and AWS. So that's why these two are really ones you want to look at if you're really interested in getting into cloud computing. Um, now, the... The big question here is, which one should you learn? So with Amazon holding a great deal of the market share, you can't go wrong there. I mean, it's obvious. They have, they're pioneers in this industry. Um, they've really gotten it moving. But uh, that doesn't mean that Azure is not a worthy contender for you to learn. Let's consider uh, the following statistic as of April 2017. A um, hundred million Mac users are now on the market, according to Mac's, uh, st Apple statistics. 400 million PC users are on the market. So just with that statistic alone, um, you, you can consider how many businesses run on Microsoft products. Um, it is a great majority. I mean, when you compare 100 million to 400 million, it's four times the amount. So with that in mind, many businesses are going to be probably most likely leaning towards using Azure because they're already more comfortable utilizing Microsoft products. 
Um, so it is still a very strong contender, especially in the coming five to 10 years as they improve their services. You gotta remember, Amazon started this um, cloud computing movement. Uh, it was a great force in it. So having four years on a company is a lot. So you just have to consider that Microsoft has been in the business longer, has more computers, but then you know, Amazon Web Services is a company that is a pioneer. So there's kind of just those two differences there. Another thing to look at is consider what operating system are you truly comfortable in? Now, if you're a diehard Mac person, you're not going to be too hung up on you know, Microsoft Azure and loving the way that they operate and do things. So Amazon Web Services might be more for you. But if you are that diehard Microsoft fan, um, you may be much more confident and comfortable working in a product like Azure. So those are really the big considerations to look at when you're trying to decide as a beginner between Amazon Web Services and Azure by Microsoft. The choice is yours though. So head on over, jobsinthefuture.com. We got two courses there to get you certifi certified and started uh, with your pursuits of cloud computing. And of course, uh, now available is our ebook, The Ultimate Guide to Future Proof Your Career. And we'd love for you to get a copy of that, complimentary of us. Uh, and head on over there right now and jump on board. So we'll see you here next time, jobsinthefuture.com.